Welcome back to the lecture series on internal combustion engines. In this session, we are going to discuss about the effect of equivalence ratio on the engine emissions, which includes both SI engine and CI engine. The outline of the presentation is going to be like this. Let us start with the major emissions from SI engine and CI engine. Then we will be discussing about the effect of equivalence ratio on the emission from SI engine and CI engine. Followed by that, we will discuss about the formation of carbon monoxide and formation of NOx. Coming to the major emissions from the engine, there are basically three major emissions. One we call it as unburned hydrocarbon and the other one is oxides of carbon and the third one is oxides of nitrogen. These emissions are found in both SI engine as well as in CA engine. Apart from this, we have two more emissions, namely oxides of sulfur and particulate matter or soot or smoke. So this is found in the CA engine alone. Then we have some of the minor emissions. Minor emissions are such as aldehydes, aromatic compounds and ethers. The sources for these emissions are because of having non-stoichiometric combustion. Right? Stoichiometric combustion is the correct mixture of air fuel mixture for, uh, uh, for complete combustion. Right? This is a chemically correct mixture of air fuel for complete combustion. If you don't maintain the proper air fuel mixture, then that will lead to non-stoichiometric combustion. As a result, we will get these emissions. The other reason for NOx emission is that if the temperature in the, the nitrogen that is present in the air, it reacts with the oxygen at higher temperature. Inside the combustion, during the combustion process, the temperature reaches something more than 1500 degrees. See, at this temperature, nitrogen reacts with oxygen and it produces NOx, which is harmful. The other reason for the emissions from the engine are because of the presence of impurities in the fuel and air and, and because of the fuel tank and crankcase blow by also, we will have emissions of unburned hydrocarbons. Coming to the effect of equivalence ratio in SI engine emission, you refer this uh, diagram. Before we go to the, uh, the analysis of uh, equivalence ratio uh, for uh, emissions from SI engine, the various emissions from the SI engines are, there are three major emissions. One is the unburned nitrocarbon, and the other one is the oxides of carbon, and the third one is the oxides of nitrogen. Among the uh, oxides of uh, nitrogen, we have different forms of oxides of nitrogen and predominantly in the exhaust gas of the engine, we will find NO and NO2. From our uh, earlier lecture, we know that equivalence ratio is the ratio of fuel air ratio actually divided by fuel air ratio at stoichiometric condition. If the value of phi, equivalence ratio is given by the notation phi, if the value of E is greater than 1, then we say that it is in rich condition or the mixture is rich. If the value of E is less than 1, then it is a lean mixture. Coming to the effect of equivalence ratio on SI engine, let us explain this using this diagram. Here we have plotted the uh, concentration of uh, various emissions uh, such as uh, carbon monoxide, NOx and hydrocarbon. So this is plotted against the equivalence ratio. In the x-axis, we have equivalence ratio. Equivalence ratio 1 corresponds to stoichiometric condition. If the value of equivalence ratio is more than 1, it corresponds to rich mixture. If the value of equivalence ratio is less than 1, it corresponds to lean mixture. Under rich mixture, we are going to have more amount of fuel than the stoichiometric condition. In the case of uh, lean condition, we here we are going to have more quantity of uh, air than the stoichiometric condition. So this curve, let us explain by having various points. We have marked these points, point 1, here also another point 1 is there, then point 2 and point 3. So first point 1, this refers to the curve, uh, th this curve relates to emission of carbon monoxide. Right. So uh, this curve, if you see, if we want to reduce the carbon monoxide emission, right? So the carbon monoxide emission decreases as we move towards the lean condition, right? So when we move towards the lean condition, the amount of oxygen present is more. So when you have excess oxygen or surplus oxygen, then our combustion process will be complete because when the carbon present in the fuel reacts with the oxygen, that will lead to the complete combustion and that will have formation of CO2. We will not have formation of CO. 
so when we move towards the lean condition the formation of co will be less so if you want to reduce the presence of uh, or emission of co in the exhaust gas then we should go towards the lean condition so that is what is given in curve 1 All right so another point 1 is given here this is refers to the uh, rich mixture case right under rich mixture condition you can see when we move towards the rich mixture condition the emission of co is also higher and the concentration of hydrocarbon is also higher in the exhaust right so that is what is given in the rich mixture the, so under a rich mixture condition there is no enough oxygen to react with carbon and hydrogen so more unborn hydrocarbon and also more amount of co emission is found And the way to be come. Okay. And coming to the uh, other aspects. So now we have discussed about point one. Right. Let us come to point number two. Point number two corresponds to hydrocarbon emission. So the decrease in hydrocarbon emission is observed as the value of phi decreases, right? So when we move towards the lean condition, that means when the value of phi decreases, we can see the decrease in the emission of hydrocarbon. And this is observed up to a phi value of 0.8, right? So let us say this is corresponding to phi equal to 1.4, for example. So from phi equal to 1.4, if you keep on decreasing the value of equivalence ratio, uh, that is means we are moving towards the lean condition. The amount of uh, hydrocarbon concentration in the em engine emission is decreasing and it reaches a minimum value corresponding to a value of phi equal to 0.8. Beyond this, if the, if the equivalence ratio value is decreased beyond 0.8, then we can see an increase in the emission of hydrocarbon. This is because beyond the value of, if you decrease the phi value less than 0.8, here we are going to have uh, poor ignitability because the amount of fuel present is less. Right? So that will lead to the poor ignitability and there is a chance for the misfire. So that will lead to improper combustion and there will be hydrocarbon emissions. Coming to the third emission, that is uh, NOx, in the case of SI engine, I have told you that uh, if you are going to have higher combustion temperature, that will lead to the formation of NOx. So the maximum combustion temperature, we, it is observed at the stoichiometric condition. When phi equal to 1, we will have proper combustion and the combustion temperature will be maximum. So in the NOx curve, this is in the form of a bell shape, so we call it as a bell shaped curve. So this uh, NOx, the concentration of NOx is in the exhaust, that is found maximum corresponding to equivalence ratio of 1. That is a stoichiometric condition. If you observe closely, point number 3, the peak of the NOx curve, that is observed towards, slightly towards the lean condition. That means, let us say, this value, let us say, this is phi equal to 0 0.95. At 0 0.95 also, we are going to have maximum combustion temperature. And also, compared to phi equal to 1, at uh, phi equal to 0 0.95, we are going to have surplus oxygen. Because of the existence of uh, surplus oxygen and higher combustion temperature, the formation of NOx is higher. Then coming to the effect of equivalence ratio in CA engine emission. In the case of CA engine, CA engines are generally operated under lean condition. In general, we operate CA engines under lean condition. That means your equivalence ratio is less than 1. So if you see the uh, diagram here, here we have plotted between the uh, concentration of emissions in the exhaust gas versus the equivalence ratio for a CA engine. Right, here also we are going to have various points. The first point refers to the x-axis, scale of the x-axis. So here the maximum value is given as 1. Right, this is your stoichiometric condition. And uh, all the values are plotted uh, for uh, lean condition. Right, for uh, air fuel mixture for the equivalence ratio less than 1. Right, and uh, coming to point number 2. Point number 2 corresponds to the uh, emission of CO2. So there are three emissions. 
one is CO2, other one is sunburn hydrocarbon, and the third one is NOx. Among these three, the concentration of CO2 is very less. From the graph, you can see the concentration of CO2 is very less because the reason for uh, concentration of uh, the less concentration of CO2 in the exhaust of uh, CA engine is that we are operating the CA engine under lean condition. Under lean condition, there is more amount of oxygen that is available. Therefore, the formation of CO is not there and we are going to have complete combustion and only CO2 formation will be there. And uh, coming to point number three, the combustion temperature increases with increase in uh, phi as the value of phi increases, the combustion temperature increases. When the combustion temperature is going to be higher, then the hydrocarbon uh, emitted uh, at higher temperature will uh, we'll have uh, better combustion and the emission of hydrocarbon is going to be less. Right? This is up to uh, uh, equivalence ratio of 0 0.7. Right? So when, let us say we are going to move from equivalence ratio of 0 0.2 to 0 0.7. We can see the decrease in the emission of hydrocarbon. After 0 0.7, uh, we, this, uh, the, the operating condition of more than 0 0.7, this is observed for higher load condition. When the engine is going to be operated at higher load, then more amount of fuel is going to be supplied. When more amount of fuel is going to be supplied, then the chances of uh, unburned hydrocarbon uh, during the combustion process is going to be higher. So the formation of unburned hydrocarbon in the exhaust is found when the engine is going to be operated at a higher load. So that is what is represented by this point number 4. So at a higher load, the equivalence ratio is going to be beyond uh, 0 0.7 and we are going to have unburned hydrocarbons. And uh, coming to point number 5. Point number 5 refers to the NOx emission. right? So as the combustion temperature increases, the NOx emission is going to be higher. So when we are going to move towards the stoichiometric condition, right? as the equivalence ratio increases, we are moving towards the stoichiometric condition. Stoichiometric condition phi equal to 1. So when you keep on increasing the equivalence ratio, we are moving towards the stoichiometric condition. When we move towards the stoichiometric condition, we are moving towards the higher combustion temperature. So when we are going to have higher combustion temperature, then the formation of NOx is going to be higher. 